Hi everyone, this is Sunny here. Today I want to share with you one of my favourite ever dal recipes. I'm filming here from my home in the south of Sri Lanka. I am very fortunate to live here at the moment and I wanted to make this video for you to share a local recipe that um, one of my um, friend's mothers taught me. And this by far, I've been making dal for years and years, but this by far is my favourite ever recipe. Now, dal is a fantastic nutritional meal. What, uh, it's, it's mainly made out of red lentils, but um, some people use a whole range of different lentils to make their dals. I'm going to do a very simple version here. Why I've chosen to do it now is because it's cheap. Dal um, lentils can stay in your cupboard forever. Um, you can grab them out whenever. Um, it's easy to cook. You can cook it, um, you know, in a very short period of time. You can freeze dal. Dal freezes really well and unfreezes, so you can split it out over the next few weeks. If you're isolated, um, then it's a really good nutritionist recipe um, that, that is going to last you and your family for a very long time. So I really hope you enjoy this recipe. I'm super excited uh, to share with share it with you today. Hi, so we're down in um, the kitchen, uh, the very simple kitchen. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you up and close and personal about how quickly and easily you can make this delicious dal. The first thing is, is to thoroughly wash the lentils. I have soaked them for about five hours this morning. You can soak them overnight if you're in a cooler climate or you can, um, locals only soak them here for half an hour before they use them, but I think the longer the better. Um, if you're according to macrobiotic principles, it's good to soak your lentils, um, all lentils and beans overnight if you can. But red lentils don't need quite as long because they they're not as big or hard in terms of the shell. So uh, I'm going to add, I'm going to, after I've washed the lentils, I'm going to, I've put the, enough water in so it's a little bit over, over the lentils here. And then I'm going to add what uh, locals call here yellow powder, turmeric, <laughs> and chili, one, one teaspoon of each and just some garlic that I've chopped up here and some extra chili flakes. Now you can use as much chili as your heart desires. Now the only change that I'm going to make uh, to this recipe is I'm going to add pumpkin, my favorite vegetable. Uh, now this makes an incredible dal. So um, at the moment it's all boiling and the dal is actually now boiling really nicely as you can see. Once this water has reduced down, I'm going to add uh, these couple of ingredients, which is the uh, coconut milk. Um, I've made powdered coconut milk from, um, from uh, the boxes which exist here, but you might have it in a can wherever you are. So I'm going to reduce, reduce this down, then add uh, coconut milk and salt, and then reduce that down. While that is happening, very exciting, I'm going to be cooking uh, these onions and I'm going to add these tomatoes and uh, some mustard seeds and curry, curry leaves. So, and that's going to cook separately in a fry pan. We're at the final step, you've got this delicious creamy dal and we're going to add the uh, tomato onion uh, mustard seed curry leaf mixture into the delicious creamy coconutty dal pumpkiny thing it's divine and uh, then we'll be ready to eat so exciting I wish I could share it with every single one of you so everyone here it is and oh my god it's good oh. mm. the creaminess <clears throat> creaminess of the coconut milk and the pumpkin and the delicious blend of oniony mustard seed curry leaf deliciousness oh my god it is so good and oh my god I wish you were at this table with me I would love to share this with you so please enjoy um, dal you can have dal with rice it's a gluten-free option um, or just dal by itself um, if you want to cut out cut down on carbs dal is obviously really high in protein which is amazing and um, what local workers do here in Sri Lanka is they actually have dal in the mornings and then they rip pieces of fresh white bread into it and so they have this delicious really wholesome filling 
uh, meal for breakfast, um, dal and fresh white bread strips. Now that sounds amazing. So I hope you've enjoyed this and I'm going to uh, look at sharing some more, uh, uh, more recipes, local Sri Lankan recipes in the coming week. Thanks everyone. I'll talk to you later.